hardship is never in the body, you must understand this. Hardship is in your mind. Something is hard because you're doing something that you don't want to do. There is no such thing as hardship for the body. Suppose you have to carry fifty kilograms on your head and walk every day to your office, let's say that's your job, ten miles. Uh, if you become fit enough for that, and if you and your colleagues, everybody walking with fifty kilograms on your head and walking, you will walk, it'll not be hard. It's just that you see somebody else driving a car and going away. Now it becomes hard <laughs> very hard. That to somebody you do not like. <laughs> when you try to create comfort, everybody seeks hardship. For example, after the World War II, United States of America must have spent, I do not know the numbers, but must have spent at least two hundred billion dollars to build the highways. Hmm? I don't know the number, it could be in that range, length and breadth of the country. But today you see, people are spending over a billion dollars to buy off-road vehicles. Every seventh or eighth vehicle, probably at least one in ten vehicles is an SUV. They may not go off-road, many of them, but somewhere they want to go. And there are a whole lot of other really rough off-road vehicles which people are doing, which is very hard. So, comfort is not what you're seeking. What you're seeking is a deeper experience of life, always. You, you can seek this either consciously or unconsciously. Right now in a given society, if somebody sets it up that having a this kind of an automobile is the best experience, now you're aspiring for that. In another society, if somebody says, walking up the mountain is the greatest experience that you can have, Everybody wants to walk up the mountain, yes or no? You're looking for a bigger experience. Living better does not mean more things. Living better just means that your experience of life has evolved into something more pleasant and fantastic. No? No, just a little longer car, little bigger house, this has become living better unfortunately. If you don't change this, your life is anyway gone. You will destroy the life of future generations because your idea of living better is bloody eating up the planet, is it? There will be nothing left. If your experience of life does not become more beautiful, what is the use of all the beautification that you're doing to yourself from outside and around you? What is the use? of building huge mega cities and comfort and this and that when people are miserable. I mean, what's the point? It doesn't serve any purpose. Now everybody wants to go back to nature. Very expensive vacations <laughs> they're having, <laughs> safari in Africa, you know. So this is because we have set a wrong precedent and it's in the hands of this generation to turn that precedent around and bring it to a sensible level. Otherwise, uh, the planet cannot sustain more than another one or two or three generations.